just comes around. What this goes is around, the just comes around. What goes around, 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 just turns 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 around. What's up? What's up, guys? Welcome to Epileptic Gaming. It's week 141, and today is Tuesday. And you know, as we promised at the beginning of season two, one of the things that I said I definitely want to do a lot more on, e.g., was quite simply game reviews. And this is the perfect time of the year because we've just got so many games. We're backed up immensely. And so today we're bringing you an extra review day this week for week 141, but we're focusing on our portable reviews. I'm DJ Wheat, world's loudest human, and today Force and I are going to be looking at Disgaea Afternoon of Darkness and Fa Phantom Hourglass, the new Zelda title for the Nintendo DS. We got a lot more coming up uh, on the show as well, so let's get the folks introduced over on Stick'em Ustream Moderation. We've got Tyler. What's up, buddy? How's it going? Pretty it's, good. It's going. What, what's up in your world, dude? Uh, not much. Come just on. Playing, some, just tell us something exciting <laughs> that's um, going on in Tyler's world. My nose won't stop running. Oh, that's, right. that's about as exciting as it wow. gets me right now. This, see, this is what we have to, to look forward to until yeah. StarCraft II comes out. <laughs> Pretty much, right. exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Runny noses, constipation, yeah. and you know all that good stuff. All right, over on production, we have got Hogan Camera Carter. Sorry, I'm a little slow here. What's up, guys? You are a little slow, but that's okay. Oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah, yeah. so um, what's new for me? I know you didn't ask that, but... Uh, not what much. is new for I, you, Mr. Hogan Kamikaze? Next week, we have some special stuff that we're doing with EG, and I can't say because my really? nuts are tied. Yeah, yeah, with uh, EA. Oh. Remember? Anyway, oh. so I'm going to start playing. God, that's next week already. I know. Can't believe it. Anyway, I'm going to start playing Command & Conquer again. It has to do with Command & Conquer. You guys will like it. It'll be really fun, so look for that. Is that a little, like, hint dropping? A little, little drop there, no. you know what I mean? Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Yep. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Yo, and then we got from the Midwest, Force 519. What's up, Force? Hey, what's up, guys? Are you I'm, going uh, to bring us the most epic and devastating review of Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass that the internet has ever seen? Yeah. Thanks for building that one up. All right. Well, <laughs> I, I have no idea. Every time I see the game, though, it continues to look fantastic. And, uh, well, we're going to get to that in just a moment. Today, we're doing a review of Disgaea for the PSP and Phantom Hourglass for the DS. Tomorrow, we're going to have open phones here on Epileptic Gaming. And as Cameron mentioned on the uh, previous show yesterday for Week 141, is that we will be giving away uh, a, 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 a webcam. webcam. That's Thank right. Thank you. Very good. Very <laughs> Uh, and that is uh, thanks to Stick'em, who uh, sent over quite a few webcams. In fact, they came over this morning. So, Sangria and Adam, if you guys are watching, thanks for stopping by. We appreciate it. Um, so, you'll want to get in your phone calls tomorrow. We've got, we thought a little bit about how we're going to give them away. But, you know, honestly, in addition to the last caller, I almost think that we should just choose our favorite caller and give them away. You know, we definitely have some characters out there. So, And then Thursday, we're reviewing Uncharted, Assassin's Creed, and Resident Evil Umbrella Chronicles, so uh, it should be an interesting week here. Of course, Friday will be our free-for-all, and anything could happen on that show. Um, quickly, before we get started on our reviews, and we're going to get our reviews out of the way, we do have some news items for today on Epileptic Gaming, but the TV is back, guys. Yeah! The TV is back. Now, it doesn't mean we're not buying a new TV, oh. but they replaced the entire CRT Whoa. on our TV. Yeah. So, you know, imagine that our TV, which is a high-def tube, okay? It's important that people know that I went out and I bought one of these Slim Fits from Samsung. And it really is a gorgeous picture. But they literally took the tube out of the television and replaced it with a brand new one. So I'm really crossing my fingers that when I get home, I'm, you know... I'm blown away by the improvement of, of the quality. But interestingly enough, we've been on this little 19-inch Toshiba LCD. A small fucking TV. Right, it's a small fucking TV, dude. Well, Jen Jen was like, I can't believe how big our TV <laughs> is. Even though we, we use this TV for like two years, <laughs> it's fucking huge because we were on this little piddly, you know, tiddlywink guy. Um, and then I got one other story. So I'm outside, I'm talking to Chachi, and I'm telling Chachi <laughs> some story about, I don't even remember what the hell this story was about, but this, uh, this big black dude 
is walking by and I see him, I notice him walk by and then like stop about 10 feet uh, from where we were standing. And he turns around and he comes back. He's like, yo, DJ Wheat. Where's the lightest human? I, I recognize your voice, bro. I, I'm, a, I'm, a huge, I'm a huge fan of the show. <laughs> well, I'm like, what? Just randomly out there? In the middle of the parking lot, right. some random dude walked up and was like, yo, EG represent. I was like, fuck yeah, dude. So if, if, if I'm ever randomly walking on the street or camera or force and you see, I, I hope that you will come up and say hi because we love it. So with that being said, guys, we're going to be moving on to our reviews today and we got two portable reviews. So whether you're a PSP fan or you're a Nintendo DS fan, one of these games may have something to offer for you today. And I'm going to turn it over to our host from the Midwest, Force519, as he's going to start us off with a new title for the Nintendo DS. It is Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass. And Force, with that, uh, I only would preface this, uh, this, this review with, I wish that I would have played it. You know, and I, I, I'm, I'm sad that you haven't too, because I know you've been a fan of Zelda, and I, uh, you know, I think it, this game's it perfect for anyone better, who's been a fan. It is on my Christmas list, so it is on my Christmas list. I'll, I'll well, let you go with that. Fingers crossed. There's a better chance of getting a DS game on your Christmas list than a You're right. premium sixty dollar title. I'll so even we'll take a used one. I don't care. So. <laughs> Hook us up. All right. Well, I guess you know. Starting off, we need to talk about um, graphics and. The art style, if you guys have been watching, you know that they have pretty much taken the Wind Waker engine and ported it down to the DS. And I'm pleased. I am extremely pleased with what they have done on the DS. Fantastic you know, I'm job. always thinking the DS is for 2D games and puzzle games. But you know what? You know, in the hands of the right developer, the DS can be um, a handheld to enjoy 3D titles. And I think the Zelda artwork the zelda world has been captured unbelievably it looks like it's straight from you know the legend of the wind waker world and the fact that they did this on ds hardware it just blows me away you know well, and and um, of course i mean it's everything from your character movements to like even the sh the sailing which you can actually see right there if you make it full screen again like pretty much everything is literally ripped right out of the wind waker it, it looks like it it came right from the exact same world. To think that this one was a GameCube game and now we're playing on the DS is just, it's amazing. I really like the graphics. Um, I guess I'll go right into my score and graphics for me got an 8.5. I was absolutely knocked out by um, what I saw on the DS. Um, a couple problems that I might have is that, you know, your ship isn't um, fully controllable. I kind of had issues with that, you know, that the fact that you plot your course and then you only have control of your cannon while the ship's actually right. moving. Right. So you spin around the world and shoot. I would have liked a little more full control there. Um, it does play from a zoomed out view for most of it, so it doesn't get detailed. The cutscenes still look good, but um, part of me sometimes wishes there was more, and that's just because it's ripping right from the GameCube game, you know, and um, I know what it looks like at those points, and seeing it on the DS looks amazing. It's one of the best I've seen on a DS game. Um, I'm... You know, I, I can't really say enough about how well that they captured, you know, the 3D world from the GameCube game. Um, um, Force, aside from, and maybe you're going to touch on this in gameplay, but aside from the graphical um, things that, that this game took from the GameCube title, is there anything else in the universe that relates it to the Wind Waker? Aside from, like, sailing and whatnot, you know? Boy, Any you know, um, I, I'm going to end up meeting know? up with Zelda. Oh, wow. There are some triangle pieces that I deal with at some point. Other than other than that, it's not, um, you know, and it, it might be more because I don't remember the world enough. You know, with Zelda games, you really remember the art style and the puzzles more than the story. Right, that's true. Okay. okay. And um, But it's still, it feels like it's part of it. I, I'm not missing anything. And all the animation and the um, characters that you meet along the way look like they're from The Wind Waker. Okay, that's what I was wondering. By the um, way, by the way, you do sound like uh, your sniffles are starting to evolve to the next. I know it, it, it's a bummer, guys. That four-day game week, you know, when you go to bed at 10 o'clock every night and suddenly you stay up till 2 a.m. four yeah. days in a row, it uh, it kicks your butt. So I, I, I apologize if I sound a little like a monster, but uh, you, you know, do I'll get sound through like as best a monster, I can. but that's okay. All right, moving on. 